Hello, welcome to AWS Initiate Public Sector Learning Series. My name is Dr. Chad Stevens. I'm the strategy lead for K-12 education at Amazon Web Services. And today we're gonna to talk about K-12 and primary schools. So let's start off with what is cloud computing? For schools, it's important to think about cloud computing as zero upfront cost, no long-term contracts with pay-as-you-go pricing. I'd like to also remind schools that cloud is the new normal. As I travel the country talking to schools every week, many schools talk about their cloud initiatives and building those into their strategies. What I encourage them to do is look around them and see that cloud is really everywhere. As you can see, education is built on AWS. There's many, many educational technology companies, publishers, higher education learning institutions, and K-12 schools that are already using our services. A lot of people ask me, what sets AWS apart and why should I use AWS? I like to start off with experience. AWS pioneered the cloud. Um, we've been building and managing the cloud since 2006. Our CEO, Andy Jassy, always says there's no compression algorithm for experience. And I think that's important as we begin our journey with K-12 schools. The other thing that I like to highlight is our services. We have over 175 services that will support virtually any cloud workload. A lot of schools look at AWS and think of storage or compute services or even databases, but it's important to note that there's many services that AWS offers. The other thing I want to highlight is our pace of innovation and really look at that these 4,653 plus features are customer driven. So we really appreciate feedback from our K-12 customers. And as we grow, we want to hear from you as you look at different ways that you can serve your students. In addition, our pricing philosophy We've had 80 proactive price reductions to date and thousands of partners that can help you along your cloud journey. There are really four areas that our customers have really told us they appreciate about AWS's cloud services. Lowering cost, innovating faster, reducing risk, and improving equity. I'm gonna talk a little bit about each one as we go through uh, today's learning. Let me talk a little bit about traditional IT versus pay as you go. As you know, your school IT needs vary and so should your cost. For example, your website, during certain parts of the year, it's used more than other parts of your infrastructure. Student registration systems are used in the fall, used a little bit during the early part of the spring. Your transportation systems are used in the morning and afternoon. Your lunch systems are used for breakfast and for lunch. When you compound all these and you begin to just pay for what you use, you can have substantial cost savings for schools. One of my favorite use cases for AWS is code.org. Each year during the Hour of Code, millions of students get to experience coding. This year, I was lucky enough to be part of the team that helped Hour of Code. One of the great stats, besides their 100% uptime, was that using Amazon CloudFront, they had a peak of 62.3 million requests per minute with 100% uptime. Another use case is Portland Public Schools. Portland Public Schools migrated their ERP system to AWS in 2019. In addition to cutting their annual cost in the third, they increased their capacity and their disaster recovery. So when it comes to agility, schools can't afford to be slow. In old world infrastructure, it could take weeks or months to respond to a teacher's need. But in AWS, we can respond to teacher's needs in minutes, really giving technology leaders in schools a new level of agility in supporting student success. One of these examples is Huntington Beach, where they talk about the ability to say yes and the flexibility that AWS gives them and the freedom to respond to teachers' and students' needs. Security is critical in schools today. AWS has a shared responsibility model when it comes to security. Customers are responsible for security in the cloud, and AWS is responsible for security of the cloud. AWS has over 50 global compliance certifications and accreditations, and our infrastructure is built for the most security sensitive organizations in the world. Since 2016, there's been over 700 cybersecurity attacks in schools. AWS's inherent security features give schools the ability to protect themselves against those attacks. In addition, we have worked with leading organizations like COSIN, to do work backwards on their trusted learning environment seal. We have a FERPA compliance on AWS white paper available on our website, and we have developed specific AWS security and compliance quick reference guides specifically for education. Another great example of security is Prince William County Public Schools. Prince William County serves over 90,000 students in Virginia. Prince William notes that not only is their technology security improved, but also their physical security. Last but certainly not least is improving student equity. 
We see three ways that AWS can improve student equity. One, democratizing access to real-time data, providing equitable access to technology for districts, and providing inclusive access to AWS services. I often say that schools are data rich and information poor. AWS helps schools get better value from their data. When data is stored in AWS central storage, not only do we have tools for protecting that data, but we also have many tools for processing and analyzing that data. One example is Amazon QuickSites with built-in machine learning algorithms that can help teachers, principals make better decisions with their data. When it comes to equitable access, AppStream 2.0 is a tool that can stream Windows applications to any URL. We are seeing schools deploy career and technical education applications to students that no longer have to go to a lab to get this curriculum, but can get this curriculum really anytime, anywhere. We're also seeing schools with the ability to move entire classrooms and labs with ease, lowering administrative costs, and giving better access to learning. Last, AWS can provide unmatched equity in schools. Marmion Academy, a private school in Aurora, Illinois, through their City on the Cloud grant, built a high-performance computing cluster to give students access to technology that they would never have been able to have access to without the cloud. You may be asking yourself, what are some common places districts start? Oftentimes, districts start with simple solutions like storage. This could be backups or their long-term archival. Others begin with end-user computing, like application streaming that I just mentioned, AppStream 2.0, or desktops as a service, Amazon Workspaces. Others may begin with compute, moving their active directory domain controllers over to EC2 or doing simple server migrations. One of the most important things to remember is AWS K-12 education is here for the long haul. We really pride ourselves on helping our customers with best practices, migration assistance, and finding the right K-12 partner for their AWS workloads. Thank you for watching our session on K-12 education. And to discover more, please visit our webpage.